everyone, I'm Allison Howard, and this week we're going to explore four decor trends for 2014. Mixology, succulents, metallics, and marbleizing. First up, we have mixology. According to mixology.com, mixology is the art and science of cocktails and mixed drinks. Mixology has become a popular way for couples to express their personalities and taste while also accessorizing their big day. When a couple chooses to offer a signature drink at their cocktail hour, typically a mixologist will create cocktails based on the couple's favorite types of drinks while keeping the season and overall wedding theme in mind. Usually these drinks look as good as they taste and often add to the overall look and feel of the wedding. They often have colorful hues and sweet garnishes like fruit and candy. Rock candy sticks and blueberry speckles are just a couple of examples of beautiful garnishes. Not only do the drinks themselves add interest to the wedding, the way they are presented to guests can be just as beautiful. Just last month, I did a wedding where there were two signature cocktails specifically designed for the couple. The featured drinks were presented in a lovely photo frame at the bar for the guests to see. When considering signature drinks for your couple's wedding, be sure to offer ideas accounting for the season and overall look of the wedding. For example, mint basil lemonades make great spring and summer options, while nutty base drinks and mold ciders are perfectly hot for a wintry wedding. Number two, succulents. Another great trend that will likely be a hit in 2014 is the succulent trend. Succulents are starting to be seen across the board in weddings everywhere from favors to cake garnishes to hair accessories. Succulents and air plants offer fabulous texture and great contrast when mixed with traditional floral elements. And their soft and muted colors create a romantic feel. Air plants can be used in unique ways to create an unexpected twist on ceremony and reception decor. Back in October, I did a stunning wedding in Balboa Park where succulents were incorporated in almost all aspects of the decor. The cake, the tablescapes, and the bride's bouquet were all embellished with succulents of all shapes and sizes in a range of colors from soft greens to pastel purples. And the escort cards for this wedding were actually round uh, ornament terrariums adorned with a variety of succulents and moss and labeled with each guest's name and table number. It was really cute. Another great thing about succulents is that, unlike traditional floral bouquets and centerpieces, they can be planted after the wedding and continue to grow. Your bride's bouquet could easily turn into the couple's first love plant. What a great eco-friendly option for your earth-conscious couples. Number three, metallics. Metallics are great for the couple who wants to give their wedding that extra sparkle. Metallics can be added in small doses to add a touch of class and elegance to any color of wedding. Or they can add the perfect amount of excitement to the classic white wedding in order to bring it to the next level. When it comes to metallics, the possibilities are endless since metallics can be brought into just about every element of the wedding. The flowers in your bride's bouquet can be fashioned with metallic elements like brooches and gold or silver dipped leaves. If your bride really wants to make a statement, she can opt for a bouquet entirely made of gorgeous brooches. This type of bouquet adds a great amount of sparkle and will last forever, becoming a wedding keepsake that can be passed down for years to come. If your couple is looking to make a metallic statement with their wedding stationery, suggest foil stamped options that will make the text pop. And for a remarkable tablescape, consider mixing mercury glass votives and candelabras that offer shine and texture with elegantly gilded votives, classy chargers, and upgraded linens. And don't forget the cake. The cake can be elegantly trimmed in edible silver or gold leaf to create an elegant work of art. Although gold and silver are always popular, one relatively new trend that I've been seeing is the use of rose gold. I've seen it in engagement rings as well as wedding elements and find that the rosy tint has a softer, more romantic, even vintage feel. If your couple is going with a vintage theme and are looking for a way to add a touch of elegance, consider suggesting the option of adding rose gold elements. I'm sure it will be a big hit. Number four, marbleizing. Another trend making its way through weddings is marbleized weddings that feature elements with swirling colors and textures. 
As with metallics I discussed earlier, marbleizing can be brought into many of the aspects of the wedding decor. If your couple desires a marbleized wedding, Martha Stewart Weddings suggests considering florals that naturally appear speckled or marbled, like variegated ivy leaves, anthurium, roses, and tulips. And the bridal bouquets can be fashioned with fabulous hand marbled ribbon to further enhance the look. Tablescapes can highlight marbleized linen, swirling vases, and colorful menus. One of the easiest ways to incorporate the marbleized look into the wedding day is by starting with a wedding cake created with panels of marbleized dark and white chocolate. A perfect accessory to the marbleized wedding cake is delectable candy and cookie favors embellished with marbleized icing and chocolate. Yum. That sounds good. Thank you so much for joining me for another edition of the Wedding Wednesday Report. If you are interested in becoming a certified wedding planner, contact the Wedding and Event Institute for more information today. We look forward to hearing your feedback on today's topic and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss us each week. For some great behind the scenes action from our shoots, visit me on Instagram. I will see you all next week. Do you want to see my bobblehead? Sure. I don't know why his head is twisted this way. Huh? Maybe. Why don't you tell me a joke, bacon boy? In boringness? Okay, that's a wrap. I'm done. <laughs> Say bye. Say bye. Bye.